Hello, good evening everyone and welcome. Welcome to um, another YouTube tr stream. It's been um, months, ages that I uh, was online streaming here on YouTube. So hope you all are fine, feeling well, spend a lovely beginning to the weekend. And other than the streams I did so far, wonderful stream elements just connected. So uh, at least that works. Thing is, uh, yes, I know I'm a bit late, but um, that is the thing when uh, doing things, when testing things using a test account and then switching back to the wrong production <laughs> account. <laughs> Music Hunter, hey, welcome. And that seems as if I uh, read that message before. It's a bit like um, from Canada. Hey, Manzanitas. Welcome. Good evening. So I um, already tuned. Hey, Nicolim. Welcome. So not Canada, but uh, Germany. Nabend. I'd say other than the streams we are used to, things here on YouTube are different, slightly, just a tiny little bit. So let's head right into the first piece since months on this platform. I've been terribly lazy. There were no releases of videos for the last Wait, last release was February 14th on Valentine's Day. So, um, well, yeah. <laughs> hey, Thomas, welcome. Good evening. So, first piece I'm going to play is Lacrima Antiqua Pavan by John Dowland because it's it's a bit like coming coming home and it's the old piece which always opened my solo recitals. But please... This is no recital. This is turned out to be more like a test stream because uh, there are many things I forgot to set up and I expect to run into big troubles tonight, technically and playing wise, because that's also something I got terribly lazy with. So let's play John Dowland.
Okay, I couldn't resist. I read the chat a little bit, so hello, Rungi. Good evening. Welcome. And hello, Shiny Bluebird. Welcome. And Shasta, hey, Daisy. <laughs> oh, welcome. Good evening. Good to see you all. Uh, let's see. Um, I just want to test if... Nightbot is working. Let me quickly log on to the chat because that again is something I didn't do. That's uh, we're always uh, jumping back and forth between <laughs> accounts to test things to verify things are working and then. Uh, Time flies by and then suddenly you find yourself running into delay. Okay, that's interesting. Hey Fenric, welcome. Hey Chromaty, welcome. So let's see, the chat was behaving very weird. Well, not you. <laughs> the chat window. First stream, yeah, definitely. I, I did stream on YouTube before. I just forgot everything because it's uh, so long. Let's see, do I have the chat somewhere? So there is a chat window. Whoops. Wow, it displays the website. Okay, I guess I will do it completely differently. pop out the chat. Yeah, I think this is better. Okay, now I got my chat window so I can um, test something. 17 seconds. Wow, that's That definitely is a bit. So let me try if Nightbot is here. Okay, that's something I have to look at. Good to know because I, um oh, okay. Stream elements bot wasn't uh, meant well anyway. So um, there definitely is some work left to do, which was expected, of course. Never expected this to uh, work right away. Hello to La Palma. Yeah, stream elements response. <laughs> so. I'd say let's, um, I think I now have a rough overview um, regarding to the technical things I have to investigate further. We won't do that. I won't do that on the stream right now, but um, play some more music. And let's just continue in, let's stay in safe area. So uh, next piece of my old recital Repertoire is Georg Friedrich Händel, Thema con Variazioni.
So definitely have to get used again to to the other room and the other setting and everything. Thanks a lot for the claps. And yeah, it's it's funny. I have the same software in front of me. It's the same room. I know the light and it feels different. That's so funny. Well, what um, definitely changed is uh, the, the ambient acoustic. I don't know if um, you can tell the difference because it's been a while that I streamed from Kunstsignal. Um, this is, um, <laughs> Nicola, we have Tapu. I configured it uh, in Nightbot, but uh, Nightbot for some reason didn't join the stream. So I am back at Kunstsignal, but I changed the background. So this is uh, not only a dark stream, it also, um, they are also changed a lot in regards to um, natural reverb and acoustics because of that curtain I um, mounted to the wall. That takes away a lot of the bright reverb and uh, it should give us a more focused and more um, stable sound. It's less uh, cathedral-like or big reverb cave sound. It should be a bit more focused, a bit more projecting, hopefully. At least that is what I found out when uh, doing the setup. Very um, hurrying because uh, I completely underestimated the work that was left to do. But all in all, that curtain on the wall did a lot to the acoustic quality of the room. I mean, don't get, don't get me wrong, that reverb cave is pure luxury to play in. I mean, yes, of course, everything shifts a bit to the lower frequencies because um, the um, high ringing reverb is mostly gone because it's all disappearing in the curtain, which is what I planned. So it, it worked. I just have to listen very carefully to uh, recordings and uh, see if I still am happy with the upper range of the harp. It should be much clearer, less um, mushy and less um, acoustic mess in the harp. So plans are I've been terribly lazy when it comes to uh, YouTube as a platform and activity on this platform, which is um, completely against every plan I had about one, one and a half years ago. I wanted to release videos and the last release was last February. So I'm uh, a bit late with videos. So that is the focus for the next months. Get more videos uploaded to my channel, record videos, uh, edit them. Well, editing is not very much, at least uh, the editing I do, it's close to just uh, just throw the logo onto it, uh, write, this, uh, the write the name of the piece, and that's it. Hey, Michael, moin, welcome. So editing is neglectable luckily. But uh, recording is a lot of work and that is uh, why I didn't do it. I, I've become lazy. Streaming is so much fun and I found myself uh, just streaming all the time and not only not doing 
recordings, but also not doing the real practice work for months now. And I can tell, I definitely can tell. Standards are dropped and I have to catch up again. So um, what better to prepare recordings because that brings standards up again. And I think you all will be happy to hear the first recording project I'm going to do is record all the Skyrim pieces. I will record them one by one because that will be the um, realistic approach because um, doing a full-time IT job it's not very realistic uh, recording a 22 minute piece in one take and that would be my approach so I uh, will record one piece after the other it will be seven recordings seven separate videos but I will combine them into a playlist and if I once I have recorded the last piece the Dragonborn I um, probably will edit them together and just uh, have a have a title screen um, showing which piece is the next coming up. So there will be Skyrim on my channel. And I already started uh, putting work into uh, the pieces. First, of course, will be uh, Far Horizons, and I'd say let's have a look at it. I played it yesterday few times to check the acoustics and I really liked what I heard acoustic wise and of course I enjoy playing the piece and I was able to play it uh, by heart so I it seems I'm pretty close to completing the step to the next level for this piece which means I can play it from memory I do not need the sheet music anymore and I can focus even more on the music. Don't have to care about dots so much. Still have to think. I think two parts. Yeah, two parts. I definitely have to uh, be alert and uh, really think which strings to play. So let's have a look how Far Horizons is right now. I didn't play it today yet.
So I have no idea how how you think the difference is or what difference you heard or experienced. I can tell you, for me, it feels completely different. And that's not only the acoustic. Well, it has to do, uh, part of it, of course, has to do with the size of the room. Because um, at the living room, at home, I mean, it's just too small <laughs> for the harp. It's really too small. You feel like um, in a jail sound wise because uh, the sound of the instrument can't develop it can't breathe and um, feels good to have more air around the instrument more air to move really feels good yeah it definitely sounds bigger and it feels bigger um, the next thing and that has to do with uh, playing pieces by memory without um, all the time switching back and forth between the strings and the sheet music and reading the dots. Um, it feels much more focused. I can't focus on just maintaining the phrase, the melody, and that feels more consistent while playing. There are no interruptions in um, focus and breathing. And I, li I love that. That's why I uh, usually always would try to play um, by heart. And let's not forget about this one. Cheers to you all. Dunkelgoldig, hey, welcome. Good evening. Well, I didn't stream for uh, quite a while now here in YouTube. And uh, of course, first thing I, I did was messing up badly. Getting late, cho choosing the wrong accounts to stream to, wondering why OBS is hanging, killing OBS, restarting OBS, panicking why it's still hanging. And then I discovered, oh, wait, maybe it's the wrong account. And it just tries to connect to a different channel using the correct key. And that would never work. And of course it didn't. And then choosing the correct, uh, the correct key and the corresponding account, uh, it suddenly worked. What a surprise. So, true professional over here. But other than that, um, is the sound at your end, is it s balanced? Are there uh, notes that are too loud or uh, boomy or um, sounding thin? Because that is uh, the most important thing, of course since it's um, the main thing still should be um, music. It should sound okay-ish. Hey, Steph. This YouTube thing, I have no idea. I, I thought to myself, well, let's try it. It seems to be a very new thing. So, um, well, yeah. <laughs> um, yes, it is quiet, chromaty, but um, I found... The things I play, classical music, I they have an incredible range of dynamics. So um, if I start increasing the gain, it will um, start to distort. You will get clipping on your end. And um, I see a lot of red in OBS already. And I, uh, well, okay, I didn't configure very much compression yet. And I must say I want to use the least amount of compression possible. But I definitely will, uh, will check and test what options I have. 
So the only thing you you should recognize or experience if I find the uh, the correct setting sound would would should be fuller, a bit louder overall, and uh, the dynamics still should be um, in place, should be present. So I would like to continue preparing the upcoming recording sessions and that means I will play Far Horizons again. So you have to go th through this again. I'm very sorry. And I prepare the sheet music on screen. And then play through the remaining six pieces. Uh, looking at the sheet music. So this means somewhat 22 minutes without talk from my side.
I also forgot to synchronize my sheet library. So I don't have the um, the newest um, add-on. Avinav Singh, hey, welcome. And yes, I am expanding. I came back to my plan taking care of my YouTube things. <laughs> Again. <laughs> and yes, now I definitely should change the battery. Let's restart the timer quickly. Okay, a new battery is in place. Timer is running. Oh, Swordfish, hey, welcome. Now I know. So, um... I talked about plans just before. So uh, this is the first big plan, releasing all the Skyrim pieces I play one by one. So expect in the next, I'd say three or four weeks, I think I'll be ready publishing the first one because it it takes time. <laughs> Recording in, um, in the classical style always takes time even if uh, the piece is a rather easy one and not complicated. Um, on this channel, Swordfish. It will be um, in the recording playlist and also should pop up on the um, main page of my channel, of the music channel. I also opened a, a free time channel which uh, will contain flight simulation and things like that, still and just, just to have things on separate um, tracks. Because as far as I know, the um, suggestion mechanisms of YouTube don't like if you do uh, several things on one channel, different things. And I totally get that. That's uh, just pure logic because um, because once you um, subscribe to a certain channel, you expect something. And in my case, that's probably music and playing harp. And if you see there is someone online or publishing a new video and you click on that because of the notification and then you're confronted uh, with, uh, by something completely different then uh, you might be disappointed, su at least surprised and um, the sorting mechanisms and the suggestion mechanisms uh, they keep track of that so um, common practice seems to be well just create another channel for different things and then uh, you get to go so I did that there is uh, my Yoshi's free time channel now and there will uh, flight simulation happen for example
Oh, well, um, Shiny Bluebird, uh, that is because YouTube can buffer a lot because they have uh, different mechanisms ongoing. So, um, well, I think it's uh, very robust. But you um, you are sacrificing the very low latency thing. I have to try if it's possible because at the moment uh, my streaming rig seems to be rather bored. So I think uh, next time I will try going ultra low latency. I think that's the setting, and um, then see how it works. On your end, it's 1080p and on point. Oh, very happy to hear that. And on my end, I'll check the stats quickly. Okay, so far, I have <laughs> 10 frames missed due to rendering lag, but uh, that very likely is um, happening at the start of of OBS, that's pretty usual. I didn't reset those uh, counters when uh, starting the stream or before starting the stream, which I usually do. Um, dropped frames due to network issues, it's just plain zero. So connection on my end seems to be very stable, very reliable, very happy with that. Okay, 8.8 decimal two seconds latency on 1080p, okay. That's not too bad. It could be better, but uh, well, yeah. Oh, I'm still playing Skyrim on your phone. <laughs> That's interesting. So we just developed Time Machine. Secret features of YouTube. So uh, please let me know what I am playing next. <laughs> Okay, stats say 8.5, but it took 21 seconds. Okay, wow. Interesting. That's very interesting. Well, the thing is, um, it's probably because uh, the whole because the whole platform is um, optimized on static or offline content, on-demand content. So um, it's optimized for buffering and therefore delivering very reliable video content. But uh, streaming, for example, is more like um, having both being reliable and low latency. Maybe that's the reason. So that would uh, be something I expect to uh, um, to change over the next months and years. Because other than that, quality-wise, it seems to be good. Oh, Chromaty, uh, please, uh, don't be sorry. I'm very happy you're doing uh, the testing. So I also managed to play the instrument uh, out of tune again. I will very quickly check uh, the, the tuning.
Okay, should be a bit better now. Let's see, uh, raisins and cashews. Oh, yes, gonna play that. Very nice idea. And manzanitas, yes. The low latency on Discord is just legendary. And um, yeah, let's let's try it uh, a few times more and then um, maybe decide going for more server boosts and then try out higher bandwidth. That will be very, very interesting. So let's see. Uh, Swordfish. Uh, well, the Twitch thing. Um, the thing is, I have many friends, and my family has many friends, many old friends, musicians coming from good ensembles and orchestras and some of them are probably not very fond of uh, the social media platforms how to use them how to configure them and it's not only that if you're new to a social media platform the first thing you will see are the recommended things and i'd be embarrassed showing up and uh, sharing a link to a platform where my content is shown right beside a hot tub stream. That I'd, I'd be ashamed. I, I wouldn't want to share that link with one of those fantastic musicians. Because classical music is uh, totally old school in a good sense for me. And um, latest development for my taste doesn't go well together with that so I um, I changed to the more family friendly uh, platform and uh, well <laughs> I mean if you look around the big orchestras have their big official accounts and they are actively publishing content here on YouTube. So I think that could match. And Steph, yeah, the new darkness isn't that lovely. I was so... I was so happy when discovering that yesterday evening. Uh, Nicolum, yes, of course. Total German, yeah. Uh, Manzanitas, the better CTV emotes. That is, I think you install an add-on, an extension to your browser. So whenever your browser discovers that emote code, I think it's configured to display the emote on your side. It's not global. It's a local thing. It's like a, a parser on your side. Watermelon, hey. Welcome. It's velvety. Oh, yes. So, let's play the Game of Thrones thing. Let's play... Reigns of Castamere. And by the way, welcome, Twitchy. Good evening. So good to see you. Oh, I just uh, completely mispronounced raisins versus cashews. I should have learned that by now. Well, you know, um, YouTube actually is an emote thing. I um, just have to get this channel um, into monetization, and then I can upload my own emotes, which uh, definitely is something I plan to do. So far, uh, I just go crazy with emotes on my Discord server.
Thanks a lot for the claps. I love how the sound is uh, filling the room. It's a total, totally different experience from uh, playing at home in the living room. I love having the harp with me at home, but um, from a playing aspect, from a playing perspective, it's a different world. And you can work completely different with um, sound, with uh, tone quality. But um, re regards of gain and uh, a signal level, definitely have to investigate further. Maybe I um, really have to add some, some more compression, but uh, yeah, I will find out. Lot of test recordings. And I'm back into, uh, well, very easy and basic programming, coding, because there is no uh, solution, at least what I found so far, to have a sound alert bot on YouTube. I definitely want to have the applause back and some other handy tricks and tools. And since uh, the Google API is um, rather well documented, I um, I decided to have a look and uh, probably code my own bot to have the applause available again and some other functions. And Twitchy, I thought um, a lot about what, what you told me and mm, I know the API is very powerful and you can develop those bots using C Sharp. And I know database integration with C Sharp is just legendary. So maybe it's possible to connect that bot to a database and have um, maybe in the future a set of tools keeping track of things and being able to query right on the fly certain things if needed. We will see. For example, um, first appearance, history, history today, first appearance today, things like that. Uh, things you mentioned to me. And uh, well, maybe I get those things together. I don't know yet. But that is something I, I enjoy a lot because I, uh, I did code a bit more back in the days. Actually, that was my first real IT job. I, uh, I worked as a Lotus, Lotus Domino, Lotus Notes developer and ad uh, administrator. That's 20 years ago. And uh, then I, I did the big dive into uh, all the Linux things and of course you do a lot of shell scripting which is um yeah kids coding scripting not developing at least the things i did did a lot of tools for administering service and uh, some service scripts but um never really got into um the bigger languages and um left that behind a few years ago. But now, again, having a look at Visual Studio and uh, basics of C Sharp and see what I can do with um, YouTube API, Discord API, and um, database connection also um, triggering local commands on my side, which is probably the most interesting thing because that would be the possibility to give you some um, features back. For example, the additional camera, which is not in place right now. So um, in chat, you could request a camera switch, for example, and also the applause. Well, that, that's the main thing I'm missing.
adds another level of immersion in the stream. So uh, completely different um, kind of plans apart from um, recording a lot more than, well, the last year. I didn't record any official uh, video on YouTube since February 14th last year. Trigger fire, let's see. Lighting change command. Why would you change lighting? Trigger fire, uh, oh well, yeah, trigger fire should work, by the way. <laughs> I see what you're after there. Well, um, although it's an LED light, which I use over here, um, it just can't do brighter. <laughs> Thank you, Twitchy. was not completely correct now it should be even better yes we definitely can trigger it manually but i'm i'm working on a convenient solution at least for the applause and that should be doable even with my very limited uh, skills but I'm, I'm enjoying researching on uh, coding again. It's been years. So, more music. So, if you use a bot that writes into your channel, if you type clap here. Um, not only writing clap into the channel, it also should have a switch where uh, the mods and or I can configure if it's active or not. If it is active, it will trigger playing the MPEG-3 file on my streaming rig locally. So it will get into the audio capture of the desktop sounds and uh, also will be played through the PA I have over here. And if it's not active, for example, if I just still play a piece, the mods can uh, disable the, vo uh, the, the sound output and um, can uh, activate or deactivate the um, audible output of the bot. Yeah, custom Yoshi bot. <laughs> and you know what? Definitely will be named Mr. Carson. To have him back. Love tech talk. <laughs> so that would be um, the primary function I'm after. That's uh, really important. And then I plan to add more and more features to be configurable um, with chat commands because that should be fairly easy to do because uh, using the API of Google, I also can um, query which roles are assigned to which user. And that is kind of an authentication mechanism I can use to make the, um, uh, the certain commands only available to mods, for example. So that's the plan so far. Big fun. Enjoy it a lot. So more music. Since I 
did not synchronize my library. I just did that. Now I have the big, big one. And I'd say since this is the upcoming project, the big upcoming project, let's do it again. But this time, including a winter's tale, which is the new one. Actually, th since this is the latest um, addition to this collection, I'll play through Winter's Tale because it's uh, very new and uh, it has to mature in a short amount of time.
So, latest addition to the big thing. And now I'd say let's play the whole thing again. And this time containing the new one after I finally synchronize the new things.
Thanks a lot for the applause. And thanks a lot for the claps. And hey, Mr. Fribbles. Good evening. Good to see you. I can tell you, it feels so different to play this music in this room. It truly is a different world. So since I have to do um, things and also will stream again tomorrow at uh, 11 a.m. CET, so that is like in 15 hours, I will come to an end. Still sounds fabulous, very happy to hear that. So let's play one last piece. And I think if I got that correctly, I still have to research. I can't do that redirect thing here on YouTube as long as I'm not um, monetized, uh, as, as long as I didn't get this channel into monetization. That's correct. I think um, that is uh, bound to that status, but I have to research because I'd uh, I'd love to do uh, to do so and get to know more people here on YouTube. So far, I mostly know uh, people doing flight simulation and uh, some musicians. Most of them um, not actively publishing music, but, um, well, know each other. Fribble's message appeared first on stream, then in the chat window. That's interesting. But, you know, um, my chat overlay is uh, I'm using stream elements. And the chat I'm using is part of the overlay I created on Stream Elements. So maybe that's um, maybe there is a discrepancy between um, your device and um, the stream content itself. That might be because those are two separate connections in that case. Mr. Fribbles, yes, uh, sometimes it does. So let's play the very traditional last piece. So tonight this will be La Source. And the interesting thing I just see on the uh, monitor on the stream manager is my current bandwidth seems to be not optimal. Definitely will uh, have a look at that after the stream. So let's enjoy lots of water. Let's enjoy La Source and thanks a lot for stopping by tonight. It's good to see you all.
Thank you very much for the applause. Thank you very much for the claps. And thank you for the wonderful evening, for the wonderful, again, first stream here on YouTube. Slowly getting used to things again, finding my ways. And I'm definitely going to work on um, the overall sound level, loudness and um, hopefully come to a good result. So, wish you a fantastic remaining Saturday and probably see you again on tomorrow's stream, 11 CET, AM, 11 AM CET. Same place over here on YouTube. I will um, schedule the stream right after this stream and also will announce it on my Discord server. Uh, let's see if this is still active. Just a second. Oh, wonderful. It is active. Fantastic. Well, a link to a live stream. Let's have a look. Yes, that, that's a good idea. Let's have a look at YouTube, who is online at the moment. Maybe one of the... Uh, well, if you uh, would also be willing to raid a flight simulation stream, but so far I cannot see any live music streams. I must say, well, Kiwi Mace is online. He's from uh, New Zealand and he's doing a lot of good flight simulation videos. And at the moment, he's, he's doing a flight simulation stream. He's doing a group flying stream. So let me quickly copy that link. Here we go. And as mentioned, unfortunately, uh, I think I can't do the redirect yet. Let's see if this works. No, it doesn't work. Well, let's uh, manually do something. Okay, let's... How about this one? I think I'm, I'm happy with that. So, thank you very much see you all very soon um i will i i won't take care of the uh, of the vod uh, right now but um i will work on it tomorrow to have it uh, online as soon as possible okay so thank you all i'm going to end the stream now and uh, well let's go see you very soon